ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, there might be more in your roast dinner than you bargained for. But first... Move over, Dippy. There's a new dinosaur in town, the Titanosaur. We're really excited to show this particular Titanosaur, Patagotitan, in uh, the UK, even in Europe, for the very first time. So excited for people to be able to come and experience the awe and wonder of standing underneath one of the largest animals to have ever walked on Earth. That's Sinead Marin, the exhibition lead at the Natural History Museum. Titanosaur, um, lots of people might not know what a Titanosaur is, but... Uh, They might know about Dippy, our most famous dinosaur. So like Dippy, uh, Titanosaur has had this long neck and long tail and four sturdy legs, but some of them grew to be much, much bigger, um, even growing to be the largest animals to have walked on Earth. It's four times heavier than Dippy and 12 metres longer than Hope the Blue Whale. Yeah, what's particularly exciting about this, this Titanosaur is that so many bones from so many different individuals were found. So around 280 bones from at least six creatures. And what makes that remarkable is that of the other giant dinosaurs that we know about, most of them are only known from quite fragmentary evidence, just a few bones here and there. So this dinosaur is giving us a window into understanding how um, these giant creatures managed to survive and to support such huge weights, 57 tonne weights um, on four, just four legs. The Titanosaur will be showcased at Waterhouse Gallery from next spring. Now. Japan has successfully used steam to propel a moon spacecraft. The country's space agency, JAXA, said in a statement that it's the world's first successful orbit control beyond low Earth orbit, using a water propellant propulsion system. They confirmed that its water-powered spacecraft performed the required manoeuvres to be in its planned orbit towards the second Earth moon Lagrange point, a position situated beyond the moon. Researchers are particularly interested in using this as a potential construction place for a deep spaceport for space exploration. Next. Whoa! Come on, let's see what else we can find. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have set a Nintendo sales record, despite a pretty negative reception from players. The latest Pokemon games have had the most significant worldwide launch sales in Nintendo's history, despite many customers complaining of bugs and poor graphics performance. The games released on the Switch last week have the lowest user scores in series history on the Metacritic Review's aggregator website. Some have blamed the Switch's hardware for the poor graphical performance, which has raised questions over the future of the console. Next. Measures are being introduced to Scottish football to help protect players from dementia. Professional footballers are to be banned from heading the ball in training the day before and after a match. Clubs are also being told to limit exercises that involve repetitive heading to one session per week. The guidelines come after Glasgow University's research showed that former footballers were three and a half times more likely to die from brain disease, and experts believe there could be a link to repetitive heading of the ball. The Scottish Football Association already has guidelines in place limiting heading in youth football, with a ban on headers in training for under 12s. Rolls-Royce has successfully won a regional aircraft engine on hydrogen in what's being described as a significant milestone towards aviation's decarbonisation. In partnership with EasyJet, the ground run used a modified AE2100A engine, a variant of the company's turboprop power plant which equips the Saab 2000 regional airliner. Further tests will now take place, leading to a full-scale ground test using a PIL-15 business jet engine. It's hoped hydrogen power will play a major role in the aviation industry in future, dramatically cutting harmful emissions. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, a Sir David Attenborough immersive experience and microplastics in your roast dinner. Whilst you're here, why not give us a rate and follow? Welcome back. Sir David Attenborough fans rejoice, a BBC Earth experience is coming to London. The immersive attraction, narrated by the man himself, will allow visitors to experience the extraordinary diversity in the world's seven unique continents on an epic scale. The attraction will showcase footage and music from the BBC Studios Natural History Unit television series Seven Wonders, One Planet, projected on multiple multi-angle screens using the very latest digital screen technology. 
Visitors will take a 360 degree audio visual journey as they explore iconic landscapes and connect with mesmerizing animals. The experience will open in March 2023. Amazon could see a £29 million tax hike next year as a result of the business rate shake-up. Following the UK Chancellor's autumn statement, new rateable values, which are used to calculate the business rates tax, will be based upon property values as of the 1st of April 2021, meaning that online retailers will see a tax hike, while physical stores could see their taxes fall. And finally, there might be more in your Sunday lunch than you actually know. An investigation has revealed that a traditional roast dinner contains 230,000 microplastics. Research by the University of Portsmouth, in partnership with Good Morning Britain, has also revealed that eating one roast dinner every day, or a similar meal, would equate to eating two plastic bags each year. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.